Hello friends, if you're new to the channel, I'm Prasad Domala and I'm a senior cloud architect and DevOps engineer. And on this channel, I'll be talking about all things related to cloud computing, focusing mainly on uh, AWS. Today, I'll talk about Lambda function URLs and we'll show you how to create and invoke these function URLs using various methods available. So let's dive in. You might already know Lambda functions can be uh, invoked by a bunch of AWS services by configuring the function as a target. For example, a function can be set as a target for S3 object events or a target for SQS queues or SNS notifications and much, much more. But if you want to invoke directly using HTTPS endpoints, we have limited options, mainly through API gateways or um, elastic load balancers. And as you can expect, we need to do some additional uh, configuration to set up API gateways and elastic load balancers, and of course, additional costs as well. These methods of invoking Lambda using HTTPS endpoints are perfectly valid use cases for many uh, projects. But if you simply want to invoke a Lambda function and get a response using a HTTP endpoint without any additional uh, overhead or cost, there's no way other than um, API Gateway or uh, ELB. To address this issue, AWS recently released a new feature called Lambda function URLs. All it does is give you a direct HTTPS uh, endpoint for your Lambda function using which you can invoke it directly using various tools like you know, curl, postman, browser, or any other uh, HTTP client. And moreover, you don't need to pay anything extra for this feature as the pricing is included within Lambda. And it supports both IPv4 and IPv6, and it supports uh, cores as well, that is cross-origin resource uh, sharing. And it supports uh, resource policies, meaning you can restrict access to these uh, function URLs using IAM policies, including cross-account policies. Now coming to the demo, uh, we shall first look at various methods of creating these function URLs using AWS CDK, AWS CLI, and console. And function URLs are not fully supported yet in CDK, but we'll use a CFN resource construct in CDK, which is basically a cloud formation resource defined in a CDK project. Function URLs support both authenticated and unauthenticated requests. So we'll be creating both public and uh, authenticated endpoints in this uh, demo. Once we create these function URLs, uh, we shall take a look at various ways of uh, invoking them using browser, curl, or postman. For authenticated uh, function URLs, we'll be uh, signing our request using AWS uh, Signature version 4, also called as uh, SIGV4. So let's jump into the demo now. I've already initialized my CDK project and created three Lambda functions. These are just normal Lambda functions without any uh, function URLs configured yet. And I use CDK to create these uh, Lambda functions. The code here can be found in my uh, Git repo. I'll leave the link in the description. Let me quickly show you my Lambda functions. I named two of them as uh, private one and private two, and the other one is called uh, public. I named them like that as we'll be uh, creating um, private and public function URLs for the respective uh, functions. Looking at the Lambda function code, it's just a simple uh, handler returning a message in JSON format. If you want to know more about getting started with CDK and how to create these uh, Lambda functions using uh, CDK, please watch my uh, other videos on these topics. I'll leave the links in the description. Let me first set my uh, AWS profile in my terminal and deploy these uh, Lambda functions using CDK deploy. The deployment is now uh, complete. Let's have a look at the easiest way of creating these uh, function URLs that's using AWS console. I'm on my uh, Lambda functions page and you can see all my uh, three Lambda functions here. Let's choose the public one first and under configuration tab, choose function URLs and uh, click on uh, create function URL. We need to set a couple of uh, settings for our uh, function URLs. The first one is the authentication type, which I'll set it as none for this function as it's a public function and we need a public endpoint without any uh, authentication. As you can see, Lambda adds a resource policy allowing invoke function URL action, and the principle is set as star, which means anyone can invoke this uh, function using the function URL. And we have a condition here, which basically uh, says allow invoke function URL only if the auth type is set as uh, none. And if you want to correlate, it's basically a uh, same kind of resource policy you create when you want to make S3 uh, buckets public, for example. The other option we have is uh, CORS, that is uh, cross-origin resource uh, sharing, which allows access to this uh, function URL from any origin uh, domain by default, but you can customize the CORS uh, settings like origins, headers, HTTP methods, allow credentials, 
and the time to cache the results for uh, pre-flight uh, requests. These are the same core settings you configure for S3 buckets or uh, API gateways. I'll accept the defaults here and click save. Now our function URL is created and we get a unique uh, URL to invoke this function. We can simply copy this uh, URL and put it in our uh, browser. And as expected, uh, we can get the message we added in our uh, public function. That's how quickly you can create a public function URL and get the response directly from our uh, Lambda function. Now let's create a function URL using AWS CLI. This time let's create a authenticated function URL for our uh, private one function. Make sure you have the latest version of uh, AWS CLI installed as older versions might not have the commands to interact with function URLs yet as it's relatively a uh, new feature. I have version 2.5.8 of AWS CLI installed on my Mac. We'll be using AWS Lambda create function URL config command and pass in the function name and the auth type. As we are planning to create a protected uh, function URL, I'm setting the auth type as AWS underscore IAM. And optionally, we can set the course config as well. And value will be the course settings in stringified uh, JSON format. For this example, I'm just using the defaults. And of course, you can customize these uh, settings as per your requirements. Let's execute this command to create the function URL. We can see the output with our uh, unique function URL. Let's copy that and put it in our browser. And as expected, we should see an error because we have set the authentication to IAM and we need to be authenticated to access this protected function URL. If we set our auth type to IAM, we basically need to sign our HTTP uh, request using AWS Signature version 4, also called as SIGV4. There are different tools which can help you uh, sign your HTTP request like AWS Curl or Postman. For this demo, I'll use Postman but you are free to use uh, any tool which can sign your request using uh, SIGV4. Here I am on a new workspace within Postman and I'm creating a new collection. I'll just uh, call it as function URLs. And for authorization, I'll select AWS Signature. We can choose to add auth data to request headers or uh, URL. I'll leave the default, which is uh, request headers. I'm adding my access key and secret key. I'll be deleting these uh, keys before publishing this video. So don't worry if I'm not uh, masking these keys. Make sure the IAM user for these uh, keys has Lambda invoke function URL permissions. I'm setting my uh, region as uh, AP uh, Southeast 2, which is Sydney. And the service name would be Lambda. Let me save this. And within this collection, I'll now create a get request. I'll just call it as uh, private one and paste the function URL we copied. And for authorization, I'll select uh, inherit from parent as we have set our authorization settings on the collection itself. Let's save this. And when we uh, send this request, Postman will attach AWS signature version four to the request automatically. And if I send this request now, we should see the output from our uh, private one function. If you look at the code section within Postman, you should be able to get the curl command and many more uh, languages with appropriate headers to access the function URL with your uh, credentials. Now let me show you how to create function URLs using AWS CDK. As I mentioned earlier in this video, CDK doesn't have support for function URLs yet, as the feature is pretty new as of creating this video. So we'll be using um, CFN resource construct within CDK to create our function URL. I'm back on my uh, CDK project and let's open the Lambda stack file. First, let's import CFN resource from uh, CDK lib and paste in the code to define our uh, function URL. I'm first checking the function name with my, within my uh, loop. So we'll be creating a function URL for our uh, private two function. And I'm creating a CFN resource of type AWS Lambda URL. And under properties, I'm setting my target function ARN. I'm fetching the function ARN from my uh, Lambda function, which we created here. And for auth type, I'm setting it as uh, AWS underscore IAM. And I'm setting the course um, settings. Let's deploy this using uh, CDK deploy. The deployment is now complete. Let's fetch the URL of the new uh, function URL. I'll use CLI to get the function URL config. We can use the command AWS Lambda, get function URL config command, and then pass in our function name, which is our uh, private to function. This will give us the unique URL for our uh, function. Let's copy that and test it using uh, Postman again. Let me replace this URL and send the requests. And now you can see the message from our uh, private to function. And if you put this URL directly in the browser without any authentication, you should get the forbidden error. 
So that's how you can create function URLs using CDK, CLI, and console, and invoke them using uh, Signature version 4 and directly from the browser. That's a wrap for this video. Hope you liked it. If you did, check out these uh, other related videos as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Always keep learning. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.